everyone this is Ioni from Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps today I'm going to make a, a tiger stripe for Amy Warden's uh, first week soap challenge of 2013 and uh, this is the second attempt I tried it once and uh, the oil set up too fast and I didn't really get the look that I wanted, I don't know, I haven't cut it yet, but it didn't pour the way I wanted it. So I'm going to attempt it again. This time I'm going to put my own spin on it and do a gradient uh, stripe, <laughs> I guess you'd call it. So I've got six colors made up that I'm going to use. I've already mixed them with part of the oils here. And I've also changed my recipe. I'm not using palm oil this time. I'm using soy, which is a lot softer oil, so I'm hoping it won't set up as fast. And also I'm uh, soaping at a little hotter temperature, 100 instead of like room temperature, hoping that will help. And I'm not going to mix my fragrances. I'm using two today, uh, Keltish Rain and uh, Crisp Apple Rose for the top notes. And so uh, my lye is ready. Um, I've also got almond oil, olive oil, and coconut oil in here. So let's get started. I'm just going to get this emulsified. I don't even want it to trace because I'm going to be um, giving it a little bit of a, a uh, stick blend in the colors. almost rice looking. I don't like that. Mm. Oh dear, it's going to uh, move fast it looks like. So let me get going here. I'm going to be measuring how much I'm going to use in each uh, color because I'm going to stripe it with the natural soap color. That's my hope. So I have about how much I need to uh, put in here each one to do that. I mix my own colors using uh, bramble berries, micas, and oxides. At least I mix the lavender and the orange and the ones that are not primary colors. Although I do get green, so I don't have to mix that one either. I mixed the lavender using um, the ultramarine blue and electric bubble gum. I use a green oxide, a chrome green. You know, I don't think I'm going to stick blend these colors. I think I'm just going to stir them up because they're already getting thick. I don't know what's going on lately with that, but it seems to be happening a lot. And I can't blame it on the scents right now because uh, I haven't even put any in.
cut a little bit over on that one. It's not too bad though. One more. There. Now, um, there should, I'm going to divide the rest of the batch into two because I don't want to mix my, uh, <laughs> my fragrances this time. And there should be 12 ounces for each. We'll see. Doesn't look like that's really going to be accurate. that looks like way more than what this has got. I'm going to measure my uh, measure the other one and be right back. Well that wasn't so far off after all. I guess looks can be deceiving with different colored bowls and different sized bowls. So I'm going to add the fragrance to this. I hope it's not going to move too fast. Uh, the bottom is going to be the uh, Celtic Rain. That's this one. I love this scent. I thought it would be nice since the bottom part of the soap is sort of going to look like um, ocean, kind of sand and ocean. Like with blues and greens and stuff so I thought it'd be a nice scent for that and the scents seem to smell nice together well this isn't even trace so I'm going to give it a little bit of a beat here just to make sure I've got trace going on Oh yeah, it's traced. And it's still very fluid, so that's good. Okay, let me check these colors now. Uh, let me set this over here for a minute. I'm going to be doing this one first. Let me see how they're going. Oh, they haven't traced either. So I guess it's good to give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a whirl here. Not too much though. That's traced. Let me see. Can't get the light at no, it's not. I can't get the light at a right the right angle. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's not very good. Well, that looks like it probably is. I don't want to get it too thick. Oh yeah. That's traced, and this is traced. Okay. Let me go to the second one here, which is going to be blue. That is just about traced already. Just needs a quick hit with the uh, stick blender. do it. I can't tell for sure. Bad lighting. Hold on. Not quite. There we go. I'm sure that's got it.
Okay, and green. My purple's not sitting up on me. Let's get to pouring. Hate this, um, this tape. I don't know, it's just a, it's supposed to be re extra removable or something, but I made sure I didn't get that kind again and this is almost gone because it just hates to stick to freezer paper or anything for that matter. Okay, here we go. Tiger Stripe. I hope you can see this. Tiger Stripe Swirl. And it just goes quickly down the center. And then I'm going to be using a whole color and then go on to the next color for each uh, color. That's the plan anyway. This doesn't set up too uh, quickly on me here. And then uh, Amy turned the mold around several times. I think I will do that too. Ooh, got quite a bit there. It is thickening up on me, so I'm going to have to kind of work quick, and that's not a uh, strong suit for me. Lavender is just about gone. Let me scrape out the end of it here. Okay, now the blue is going to be next, so here we go with the blue. I better turn it around again. I'm getting a lot more at this end. Give it a bang while we're doing that. Okay. Actually, this blue's just about gone. Let me get it scraped out as well. All right, now the green looks still fluid. It's 
like I'm getting about three swipes with uh, each color. I better pour a little higher. It's not sinking down like it should anymore. It's getting a little thick. Not too bad though. Okay, let me get the spatula. about not uh, perfect here sorry if I'm in your way but I gotta get the right angle here to get the rest of this soap out of here trying to keep my eye on the mold <laughs> Amy this is a challenge all right Okay, I think that's good. I'll use a little for the top, maybe. Oh, and there goes my side. Thank you so much, tape. You are so helpful. I tell you, I'm never going to buy that kind again. I made sure I looked at what I was getting this time. It's not even going to stick anymore. Oh, well. Hope I don't get too messy with it. Okay, let's see. Here's the yellow. It's going to be next. Um, I need to add the fragrance to the other uh, batch, though. Hold on and let me get that going. Okay, this is the crisp apple rose. I love this scent too. Very nice scent. Kind of um, flowery but fruity as well. It smells a lot like roses actually. Fresh roses too, not uh, perfumey. Like trace here. Good to go. Now let's do the yellow. Should be good. Orange. I made this orange using red mica and fizzy lemonade. Red mica always turns orange. It comes out red uh, at first and then when it sets it's orange. Every single time. And this pink I made with, uh, oh I was going to add a drop. I made this pink with bubble gum and, um, and red mica as well but I'm going to add a drop of this cherry I didn't put it in sooner because it's water soluble all my other ones are uh, oil soluble oops I hope I didn't get too much in there but I was t looking for a, a true red they told me this was a true red I did get this from Brambleberry and uh, it's not. It's a blue pink. That's why I added a little bit of the um, red mica to it to take some of the blue away. Gosh, I hope that didn't get too uh, thick. Okay. So, let's get going. 
hope this didn't thicken up too much. It looks still pretty fluid. And let's go with the yellow. It's not going to be much difference between the yellow and the, uh, the soap color. I tried to get it pretty yellow though so it would uh, show up when it's uh, set. Fizzy Lemonade looks pretty light uh, when you pour it and then it does set up quite a lot darker. So I hope I got enough in there. And this is setting up rather quickly. So I better hurry. So pardon me if I don't talk a lot. <laughs> spatula handle is all full of soap. I'll wipe it off. Okay. One more of this. Better be skimpy with it though here. It's thickening up rather quickly. Okay, now the orange. bubbles out. If I have enough to get through all these colors with it going uh, so thick as it is. Have to pour a quick stream I guess. I'm going to turn it around again too. Get it down in there. Ooh, that dropped down quite a ways there. We have a little blob on that end of orange, I think. soap everywhere here. Oh, this is okay. All right, pink. Oops. Nice to get it in the soap. I'm not planning to do anything fancy with the top. I just kind of want it to look pretty, uh, look more um, subdued. And um, pastel-y. That's going down in kind of making a probably a <laughs> a ball inside I, think I better turn it around again too
just going to kind of put this over the top now, I think, so that it'll be a surprise inside. Maybe, <laughs> if I have enough. It might be nice to let some of those colors show through. They are pretty. Maybe I'll just give it a light swirl on the top just to blend some of these colors together a little bit. Might be pretty. Let me get the um, what's left out of this other bowl in too. Not very much, but a little bit. Hate wasting soap. I'm going to do a quick swirl on the top. I cut the paper off. I had a wrestling match with the tape and I got sick of it so I just cut it off. What I do um, after it all is said and done is I put saran wrap over the top. I don't spray it with alcohol at this point like a lot of people do. Uh, what I do is after it comes out of its uh, incubation period of 24 hours then I spray it liberally um, with alcohol before I take it out to cut it. And I have not had an ash problem since I've been doing that. I don't do it first because I don't like the little pock marks it leaves in the top. So I'm just going to give this a quick swirl here on the top just to get some color going. It's just very surface I'm doing this. Just to drag a little color through there. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to put any glitter or anything on it. That is the way it's going to be. So I will do a cutting video or put the cutting video on the end of this depending on how long of a, a D, uh, video it turns out to be. Let me see if I can uh, get the camera a little closer so that you can see it. If I can get it out of here without jerking it around too much. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the surface. Sorry about the shadow. Thank you for watching. This has been a, a, a fun challenge, that's for sure. And um, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.